Hi everyone, my name is Cheryl. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a super easy and fail-proof way to create loose waves. And the way I did my curls in this intro is normally how I style my client's hair at the salon. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So here's what you need to make this successful. First, you're gonna need a curling iron. I'm gonna be using the one and a quarter inch wide Mint Professional Tools curling iron. You're also gonna need a good heat protectant to prep your hair before curling. Today, I'm using Paul Mitchell's Alcohol-Free Super Skinny Serum. Next, go ahead and grab your favorite hairspray. I'm using the Extra Strong Moroccan Oil Luminous Finishing Hairspray. And finally, you need a hair clip. All right, so let's put on our heat protectant. I have really thick hair, so I used about a full pump. This step is super duper important because we don't want to fry our hair off. So please, please don't skip this step. Next, let's go ahead and section out the top and bottom part of our hair. We're going to be curling the bottom part first. Now to keep things simple and straightforward, everything we curl is going to be curled away from the face. Which means every section we curl on the left side of our head should be curled towards the left. And everything on the right side of our head should be curled towards the right. Okay, let's begin. So take about an inch section of hair and start curling from the mid lengths. In a moment, you'll see me release the clamp and curl my way back up. And we want to keep repeating that motion until the whole section of hair is curled. So once your first section is curled, don't touch it, don't play with it, just leave it alone and finish off the rest of that one side. And I'm saying this because usually at the salon, I show my clients how to style the hair and out of excitement, they always run their fingers through their curls. And I just kind of die inside because now the curls won't hold as well as compared to letting it set first. So like I said, just leave it alone. Now that we're done that one side, let's move on to the other side. Sometimes my clients tell me they keep creating a kink in their hair or they end up curling inward towards their face and they just couldn't figure it out. The key really is to pay attention to where your handle is facing. When we're curling away from the face, our handle should start off facing forward before we clamp onto our hair. But if our handle starts off facing towards ourselves, then we start curling inward. I mean, it's not wrong to curl towards our face, it's just not the style that we're going for right now. Okay, now moving on to the top part. Again, from the back of your head, section out your hair into two big sections. And similar to what we did for the bottom sections, we're gonna start from the front curling away from the face. Now, one thing that I do do differently at the top is I take slightly smaller sections to curl. And I find that by doing so, I can create more dimension to my curls.
All right, so once everything's been curled, go ahead and spray your favorite hairspray and wait for your hair to set. Keep in mind not to spray too close to your hair, otherwise your hair is gonna get wet and it's gonna clump together. So give your hair at least a couple of minutes to set and you'll know it's ready when it's no longer warm. Now that our curls are set, go ahead and loosen them up with your fingers or if you prefer using a wide tooth comb, that works too. Honestly, at this point, if you like the way your curls look, you're basically done. But since I like to see more texture, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up some pieces. So here I'm not really doing anything complicated, I'm just basically taking very thin sections of hair and recurling them. This is honestly the funnest part for me personally because you get to be more creative, you're visualizing where you want your curls to sit and what colors you want to see popping. You don't necessarily have to do this but I just find that not only does it add a lot more dimension to your hair but it shows up so pretty in photos. So just have fun with it, there's no right or wrong way to do it really. Okay, we're almost done. Let's finish off with some hairspray. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the notification button, and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you in the next video.